by President Uru Kinyata to jumpstart the economy, Public Service Governance founder Esther Waringa says the government should also consider offering tax breaks to companies seeking to increase their capacity to produce import substitute goods. That the government offer grant tax breaks to companies uh, seeking to increase their capacity to produce import subsidized, I mean substitute goods, which could mean even zero rating VAT for the next three months. I'm sure it's possible that the government, because we have already received uh, 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 donations from the IMF, we have received donations from the World Bank and other development agencies, then it's very necessary that the government considers uh, zero rating VAT for the next three months. Esther Waringa also eyed the government to provide a business stabilization fund for small and medium enterprises to cushion them since they are adversely affected by COVID-19. Uh, that the government consider waiving tax for three to six months period for industries that have been highly affected by the virus, as well as reduction in payroll tax for the next three months for the lower income bracket workers. Public service governance also wants politicians to stop settling their political scores through COVID-19 humanitarian interventions. It's evident even right now, we continue to see very sharp political divisions emerging from our readers right now and political parties differences as they move to form political coalitions for 2022 elections right now instead of focusing on COVID-19 mitigations and the country's economic recovery. We even wonder how the economic recovery will be realized if we start politicizing interventions, COVID-19 mitigation interventions at this time. Eli Logova, TV47, Nairobi.